So we never discount deferred tax liabilities. And the reason for this is purely pragmatic because we simply do not know when we're going to have to pay that tax liability. So we don't know for how many years we're going to be discounting that liability. Take a revaluation of a building. If you revalue a building, the carrying value of the asset goes up, the tax base remains the same, and so you're creating a taxable temporary difference. Thus, a deferred tax liability arises. But when's it going to be paid? You only have to pay the tax liability when you are going to sell the asset. Now, we don't know when the asset is going to be paid. And for that reason, that's why we don't discount deferred tax liabilities. What it does do is point out a horrible inconsistency with the measurement of liabilities. Pension fund deficits, present value. Lease liabilities, present value. Financial instruments, loans, present value. All have been discounted. And what it means is that you've got a deferred tax liability sitting on the balance sheet, which is not that predictive of the future cash flow. You've got a deferred tax liability, which is overstated. But this is life. Hope you enjoyed.